Hello everyone, this is Karthik from the Hidden Developer YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to show you a little bit introduction about the Tyson TV platform. So it's been a long time since I have published my videos in the, my channel, I think it's almost two years back. So here I am back with the Tyson TV uh, tutorial series. And um, uh, so this is a slide only kind of a presentation where I'll be explaining the theoretical information related to Tyson TV development. Uh, so I uh, so I prefer to show the output in a slide rather than uh, some other technical demo like the one that you have uh, found in my uh, previous videos. So let's get started. So I mean, in the Tyson TV platform is a Linux-based uh, platform that is introduced in the year 2011. So it is kind of a HTML5 based development platform for TVs and uh, it it actually Tyson TV uh, was introduced by Samsung after their the pre before Tyson TV platform Samsung had something called uh, Migo I mean uh, Migo which is a Linux based platform for mobiles so uh, that is currently it's not in support so after Migo after the support of Migo uh, it stopped uh, so Tyson is something that that got introduced so it's uh, already said it's a HTML5 based development platform where you'll be developing apps based on the common web technologies that we use daily for normal web application like HTML5, CSS, uh, JavaScript and other later technologies with the web so it's an open source um, uh, platform for tv with some of the sub proprietary components that has been developed by samsung for the tv related functionalities uh, so apart from that the other other parts uh, that are common to the web development area are com uh, open source so <coughs> initially uh, in order to build something with Tyson, Samsung started building their BADA, which is an operating system for mobile. So uh, that has been uh, translated to Tyson code as an initial effort from the Samsung side to build something using Tyson. So Tyson is based on a Flora license. So when you look at the application areas where Tyson works, Tyson, uh, a, Tyson provides an effective platform for mobiles, tablets, uh, your netbooks, smart TVs, car platform. So, even for Samsung Gear, uh, Tyson provides a viable platform where you can develop various applications. And also, Samsung initially, I um, mean, recently tried out Samsung Connect Auto, which is a system where the Samsung, um, the, the, the Samsung has rolling out Tyson for the car. Uh, dashboards where um, so Samsung Connect Auto provides a platform where the connected autos remain connected through some medium uh, sharing data uh, getting updates etc so Samsung so Tyson has already given a good entry in the Samsung Connect Auto so uh, like if you are thinking of starting with Tyson so if you take a uh, look at the recent development statistics and you say in 2018 to 2019 period you can say that it's about 21 percentage of the smart tvs are running tyson so this is um, kind of a, a, a valid reason to say that okay uh, you know, to start with the the tyson tv platform development and um, and also uh, so here will be mostly developing apps using the HTML5 based platform uh, and uh, Tyson also have provisions to develop applications using the Tyson native language also so for the smart TVs mostly uh, Tyson is concentrating on um, uh, developing a HTML5 based apps which is like most probably will be using JavaScript and other stuff like HTML5 and CSS so um, you know the Tyson TV platform uh, for uh, the developers they provide a software development kit where you have uh, where you got additional tools so you can uh, develop uh, softwares according to your needs so the first and the main thing which is obviously the code editor which is an Eclipse based IDE uh, that helps you uh, edit your code like HTML5, CSS, JavaScript other related technologies 
and you have a TV simulator for uh, b building your apps for TV which is a uh, web application for TVs and you, ca you also have options to develop applications using the TV emulator where uh, you'll be um, uh, checking out apps that are developed using the Samsung native plat uh, uh, development so Tyson TV platform provides various other additional tools like UI frameworks which is CAF which is uh, one of the most um, commonly used one CAF which is a UI framework and other support uh, support for uh, JavaScript libraries that you find for the web uh, web uh, platform can also be used here and also Samsung uh, recently introduced the support for uh, developing applications using the .NET platform so and also Samsung provides various uh, uh, programmable features like uh, um, CAF uh, where you can um, program the remote program the TV channels program the uh, uh, connectivity program the interaction with user etc etc so there are a lot of areas where the developer can concentrate on programming and integrating the features or integrating uh, the application functionalities whatever he wants so uh, regarding with uh, when comparing to the previous plat um, samsung smart tv development areas which are currently marked as legacy platform where you can see uh, all those programmable features from the legacy platform is uh, has been shifted to tyson in addition with the enhanced uh, support so if you look at tyson after uh, the latest uh, samsung smart tv models every, uh, are based on tyson so you get uh, uh, you get all the uh, programmable features from the previous version with the enhanced hardware features and other latest features that are available for the developers to customize by writing code and here are some of the main areas where uh, which has been introduced along with Tyson uh, uh, with uh, enhanced support for with respect to the previous platform so one is widths where uh, it's a development time uh, development area tool where you can instantly reload your applications on the TV uh, rather than on the simulator and you have a smart hub uh, where you have uh, various features to uh, customize your applications that is being displayed in the smart app and toast where you have a cross-platform way of uh, developing applications that uh, that is uh, shown on various uh, devices like car radio TV uh, the um, Samsung gear etc and Juo player where you have a basic uh, player framework where you can customize it for for your uh, various multimedia tasks then you can ambient content and then you have CAF which is the most commonly used UI framework where uh, you can develop and uh, there predefined UI components uh, for that are most probably catered to the Samsung uh, smart TV platform so these are the some of the areas that we will explore and also uh, other areas that we are uh, that will be explaining further in our uh, future videos so uh, uh, that's it with I think you have uh, got a basic idea of uh, what a Samsung Tyson TV platform is all about so if you uh, if you take a look at the SDK you can you get support for almost all the major available platforms like uh, Windows Mac and Linux and uh, <coughs> Uh, the the setting up of the SDK and other stuff we'll be seeing in our next video so what are the tools needed how do we set the SDK up etc those things will be uh, discussed in our next video so I'll be uh, focusing the my previous videos where like uh, they do not have a fixed release date so uh, so from this uh, series onwards I'll be focusing on uh, continuous delivery where uh, I'll be publishing uh, videos I'm, I'm, I'm planning to publish videos every uh, Wednesday and, and Sunday so I'll be publishing videos on both the legacy and the Tyson TV platform so there are few areas where I have uh, explored in the, the legacy TV platform and I'll be exploring those areas that I have missed out in the legacy TV platform and also will be continuing with the Tyson TV uh, development so I'll also be sharing content to uh, with regarding the other latest web areas that I have 
uh, explored it with you so um, that's it with the basic introduction of Tyson TV so in the further videos we'll go through uh, further with the Tyson TV platform both uh, theoretically as well as in uh, from the technical side and we'll explore further so uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching stay tuned for further updates thanks